Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Laser Warning System LWS is a passive defense warning system aiming to detect, track and warn different kinds of laser threats. Its purpose is to reduce the vulnerability to numerous laser associated weapons threats on the modern electronic warfare battlefield by providing the platform with an early warning when irradiated by a pulsed, modulated or continuous laser light. The most common laser threats are laser range finder LRF used for distance measurement, laser target designator LTD used for target designation, laser beam rider LBR used for missile guidance and other lasers used for illumination purposes. The Instrument Research and Development Establishment IIDE Dehradun a laboratory of DRDO is developing a new advanced laser threat detection system for armored fighting vehicles. The system will consist of sensors and processing units to detect the use of laser by the enemy for detection and target acquisition and also will take the countermeasures. The proposed system which will be able to detect the threats at range of up to 6 kilometers. It will have four sensors mounted on the vehicle's turret at different locations to provide a 360 degree coverage to detect threats from sources such as laser rangefinder, laser target designators and laser munition guiding beams. The control units and display screens will be mounted inside the vehicle adjacent to the commander's console and give out an audio and visual warning to the crew classify the type of threat and enable them to take countermeasures such as firing smoke grenades to obscure the vehicle and move to a different location. Earlier, LASTEC that is Laser Science and Technology Center New Delhi had produced a similar system for the indigenously developed Arjun main battle tank. The army will retrofit its T-72, T-90s and BMP-2 and 3 mechanized infantry combat vehicles with the new laser warning system. The DIDO's CVRD lab is also working with IIT Madras to develop a conformal coatings on the inner surface of long cylinders and tubes such as barrel of a gun. They have developed a diamond-like carbon coating that makes the inside of gun barrel tough and friction-free. DIDO is developing the special coatings to reduce friction heat in the gun barrels and increase their ability to withstand wear and tear. With completion of development of ATAGs and Dhanush artillery guns, we would be able to see their induction into Indian Army pretty soon. This new coating is going to further boost the reliability, accuracy and firepower of these indigenous guns. As bullet and shells shoot through the barrel, the friction generates tremendous amount of heat. After firing hundreds of rounds rapidly, the barrel can glow red hot. The same problem is with the barrels of tanks and artillery guns. The new coating is expected to keep the barrels smooth, reduce friction and thereby reduce the heat generated in the barrel. This will also benefit the barrels of main battle tanks this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector